I'm Athena Marku. Uh, I'm a professor of psychiatry at the University of California, San Diego. I'm originally from Greece, and after I finished um, college in Greece, then I moved to the United States to go to graduate school. And I was always very interested in how we experience pleasure and rewarding events. And drugs of abuse, many of them, such as cocaine and heroin, have um, many rewarding properties and induce originally, when people start using these drugs, very intense pleasures. And so that was, that's one way that we have to study the reward system of the brains by, by using drugs of abuse and seeing how they affect the brain. And uh, I was originally working on, on cocaine, but then there were some granting up opportunities, funding opportunities to work with nicotine, which was really, really interesting. So we started working with nicotine, and um, as you probably know, nicotine is the main psychoactive ingredient in tobacco smoking that induces dependence. There are approximately 4,000 ingredients in, uh, in tobacco smoke, and many of them may contribute to the, um, to the abuse potential of tobacco smoke. However, nicotine is one of the main ingredients that, uh, that conti uh, contributes to, uh, to dependence to tobacco smoking. Therefore, when we do uh, preclinical studies uh, in rodents to study the neurobiology of tobacco dependence, we focus very much on nicotine because in scientific research you want to look at one ingredient at a time, one aspect at a time, in order to better understand it. And so we're doing a lot of studies studying um, in nicotine dependence in, uh, in rats and mice, trying to understand what are the neurobiological substrates uh, that mediate the development of dependence on nicotine and tobacco smoking. And we also uh, study a lot the early nicotine withdrawal syndrome. As a lot of people that have tried to quit smoking, they have come to realize that the, the, especially the first few weeks are very difficult. They can be characterized by a mild depression or in some cases a more severe depression. They can be irritability and anxiety. Uh, and what we're trying to do is that we're trying to model these aspects of the early withdrawal syndrome in, in the rat and in the mouse, and then we try to study and see whether we can identify what brain sites um, are involved in these effects, and also what endogenous substances in the brain, uh, called neurotransmitters, are involved in, in this dependence and this withdrawal sy syndrome. And then based on that, uh, we, uh, we're trying to identify medications that would make it easier for people to quit smoking. We have uh, collaborations with chemists, some of them at the Scripps Research Institute and other ones at the, at the Burnham Institute, and we're trying to, uh, to discover medications that would help people with their dependence. And these medications are focused based on the research that we've done. We have focused on two systems in the brain, two major endogenous neurotransmitter systems, and those are the GABA system, and the GABA system is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter system in the brain. And glutamate is the major excitatory system in the brain. And both of these systems are modulated by nicotinic receptors, that is, they are receptors on, on these neurons that release other GABA and glutamate, and so when a, a person smokes a, a cigarette, then the nicotine binds to this receptor and it activates these endogenous systems. So we're trying to discover medications, new medications, that would be able to alter the effects of nicotine. Another very, very interesting aspect of nicotine that uh, it's also shared by other drugs of abuse, but maybe it's, it becomes more important for nicotine, is that Nicotine, like other psychomotor stimulant drugs such as cocaine and amphetamine and methamphetamine, it enhances the reward value of other stimuli in the environment. That is, it makes other pleasurable events more pleasurable. For example, everybody enjoys working a very nice sunset. 
but perhaps smokers enjoy this sunset more if they have a cigarette at the same time. So maybe that's the reason that smokers often punctuate important uh, little events in their life every day with a cigarette, like having a cup of coffee, or watching a nice sunset, or having a nice conversation with a, with a friend. They punctuate it with a cigarette because probably nicotine enhances the, the pleasure that one derives from everyday little rewarding events that, that we have. And this may be one of the reasons that it is very hard to quit, um, to quit smoking.